Now, I want to take today's minute and talk about going back to work after your loss, even if you've been back for a while. You know, one of the big traps we have to watch out for is using work as a diversion to force your mind to stay busy with something other than painful emotions. Not a good idea, friend. See, studies show that repressed grief emotions only strengthen over time and will eventually come out. When and where that happens is unknown and likely beyond one's control. Maybe you're thinking you don't want to take your grief to work, you know, where others might see your emotional pain. Listen, we get wrapped up in that word grief a little too much. Grief is the internal personal processing of emotions that comes from loss. It only appears as external when the pain becomes too overwhelming. Take your grief to work. Don't avoid it. Don't repress it. At work, when grief becomes overwhelming, take a break. Find a quiet place or take a walk. Heck, establish a tap-out word or hand gesture with your boss or teammates to let them know you're taking some time. This whole loss thing hurts, I know, but let's not make it even tougher by using work as an excuse to hold back the hurt. And that's today's Grief in the Workplace Minute.